Hello everyone. Today we will see how to make stories using images in Bannerboo. First, let's set our size to 1080 by 1920 pixels. Click Start. Perfectly. Now let's reduce the working area so that all our content is visible. Today, as an example, let's create a dining set for a restaurant. Our set will consist of three dishes. So to begin, let's go to the image library. First, in our search, we will look for a salad. This image is suitable for us. Let's resize it and remove the background. In order to remove the background, click on the eraser icon in the parameters of our image. The background will be removed automatically. We don't need to cut anything separately. Now let's add, for example, a pasta dish and carry out the same manipulations with it. In order to better align our image, let's use rulers. In order to find the rulers, click on the grid icon in the upper right corner of the editor. And, of course, we will add dessert to the composition. In the search field, let's also find some dark background. Let's change its size and place it behind our objects. We will also extend its time for the entire story, that is, for 15 seconds. It's better to block our background to avoid accidentally selecting it. To do this, click on the lock icon in the menu of our image. Good. Now let's add animation to our dishes. To add animation to all the dishes together, and not to each one separately, it is enough to simply select them all. Thus, choosing an animation for one object, you automatically duplicate it on all other objects. Let's take a look at how our animation works. Our dishes move a little too fast. So let's edit our animation through the custom option. Lower the value of top to 2000 and at the end of the animation. Change the animation mode to ease in. Click the play button again. Super! Now let's place our dishes on the timeline so that they appear one after the other. Let's preview it again. After a little resizing, let's now add our CTA, which means the animation of our swipe button. To do this, go to the menu with vector objects and select animated objects. In the search, right swipe and pick the one you like. Now let's edit its size and color and place it on almost the entire timeline because this is our call to action. Perfectly. Now let's add our improvised logo. To do this, go to the menu with icons and look for something about culinary topics. Now let's add a name to our logo. To do this, go to the text menu and select the desired font. You can reduce our text by typing or selecting the desired value or using the arrows on the keyboard.
add the main text in the same way. Text animation is added in the same way we did with images. Now let's preview the entire animation of our stories. Excellent! Do not forget to save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus S. Let's add music to our stories. To do this, go to the audio library and select the track we need. Click on it to add it to the timeline. Now let's stretch it on our timeline and add fade at the beginning and at the end to make our audio gradually increase in volume. Wonderful! Now let's look at our stories. In order to upload the video, click publish in the upper right corner of our editor. Here we choose convert to mp4 and wait for it to finish rendering our file and it will be downloaded to the computer. If the download does not start automatically, you can click on the link in the pop-up window below the publish button. Let's see the full preview in a separate window. The preview link can be copied and sent to friends or clients. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, have a fantastic day, and see you in the next videos.